here is a quick candy bouquet. I got a bucket from the dollar store. I got square pieces of tissue and I just poked them in. I had a foam inside and then just you just pick the tissues through. You poke them through with a skewer and I added a few roses. These are from the dollar store and you can do something like this. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to soak your strawberries for at least 10 minutes in cool water. So it's been 10 minutes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rinse them as they come out. I just rinse them and then take them to a spot towel I have set up here because we're going to dry them. So we're putting them all here. And then we're going to pat dry every single one of them and I'll be back. You're going to have to dry them very well, each one. You want them completely dry because we want the chocolate to stick on them. And I'm going to go ahead and take off all of this because I'm going to do a little bouquet. So I'll take off all the stems. The very next thing you're going to do is we're going to put the skewers through the strawberry as far as you can, like this because I'm going to make a little bouquet. And the reason I'm making a bouquet is because these strawberries is all I could find. They were sold out everywhere. So I didn't have a lot of big strawberries. So I'm gonna make a bouquet and show you how to do it. So just put your skewers in and I got these at the dollar store and then we're gonna start melting our chocolate. I'll be back. Okay, I am going to be using almond bark chocolate, but you can use whatever melting chocolate you want. And I'm also going to be using these melting chips from Wilton. So first of all, you're going to have to cut the chocolate bark down, and I'm going to use quite a bit. And I'm going to show you something. Look right over here. I've got a pan with some water in it. And I'm putting a pan that fits almost inside and I'm going to start it because we're going to melt our chocolate in here. I have it on low and so I'll continue doing the chocolate and I'm going to put the chocolate in there and I'll be back. So I've got all the chocolate in here and it's going to be melting very slow. I will be back when it's fully melted. The chocolate is all melted and look at this. It's nice and creamy and smooth. I'm turning the flame off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up out of here and I'm going to put it into another bowl here so we can dip the strawberries and I'm going to get it all in there. It kind of stops the heating process because this was a hot so now look how beautiful that is. We're ready to dip. And I've got a wax paper right here. And I've already got them on the skewers. And you're just basically going to go like this. And look how beautiful. And you're going to just shake it a little. And set it right on the paper here. Wax paper. We're going to do another one. Look at how beautiful. It really does help with these skewers because, you know, and I did take off the stems on most of them, but I wanted to show you if you want to leave the stem on, I left the stem on. You can go ahead and just dip it and hold the stem a little so it doesn't go in if you want to leave the stems on. So here's one with the green stem on. Okay, I'm gonna keep dipping and we will be right back and we're gonna let, uh, you probably just wanna keep looking at this because it looks so beautiful.
I'm making a quick uh, candy bouquet, and I got this this little um, tin can at the dollar store. So all you do is get the skewer and kind of get the tissue and just poke it in there. And I'm gonna put more tissue in and keep filling this up. And I will be right back. I think I'm going to add some white. And thank you so much for spending time with me on a Saturday night. And I will be back with more shows for February.